Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Allen Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team. And this round, um, talk about learning about uh, more about fishing, specifically uh, learning to fish by our trials and errors. So we talk about fishing videos, fishing related things, and how we adjust to the current season and current conditions. And well, this round we had actually a Q&A. This is related to uh, one of our viewers who intends to do some fishing up at Broken Bow. So the question was, we'll be going to Broken Bow for the first time soon. Can you make a video regarding on-stream etiquette? I don't want to interfere with other fishermen and women. Like how far up or downstream to go to give others their space? So our initial answer was best basically to talk to the person uh, and confirm where they're fishing. And we deferred to others uh, for their input. Well, decided to go ahead and make an infographic, do some research, uh, what the general take is on etiquette and here's what we came up with streamside fishing etiquette how far up or downstream should a fisherman go to give others their space answer the distance varies based on the area and situation and looking at the top three google searches for streamside fishing etiquette ended up coming up with one maintain a distance as to not disturb the water that the fisherman is fishing ask if it is okay to fish the area, pointing out where you desire to fish, and set up a distance where your cast will not hinder the other's cast. So let's uh, go ahead and do a little uh, fanciness here. So there's our answer right here. And hopefully that gives a good idea as to what you should do uh, when it comes to going up or downstream from others to give them their space. So uh, what were the top three searches that came out? Well, you've got Orvis News. That one was number one. I'm giving some pretty good information there, and we'll go into more detail here shortly. Then the Trout Fly Fishing Trout's Journal came up with some good information there. A very simple approach. And then the Flyman Fishing Company's Flyman blog. Uh, that one was also another good one that uh, we found some good information. So right here is Orvis News, Trout's Fly Fishing and some takeaways from each of these, and then the Flyman's Fishing Company. And over here is Orvis's site. We got the Trout's Fly Fishing site, and then the Flyman Fishing Company's site. So a very simple infographic has all the information right there. We'll post it on our website. Also, we'll uh, put some links and whatnot uh, to these sites so that you can go in to see more detail. Each of them has some really great information as it relates to um, fly fishing as well as a stream side fishing etiquette and over here in the infographic you can see that we've got uh, a note about our YouTube site COAF field team we've got our Facebook at COAF field team and then our website and blog stockertroutfishing.com and that's where we'll post the uh, infographic so you can um, download it if you want all right so that is the infographic and our simple answer Okay, so let's uh, take a closer look at each one of these search results from Google. First one's going to be from Orvis News, and it comes from their pro tips. What makes good stream etiquette? And there's a lot more information on the site, and we've got the uh, here the web address that we reference where we retrieve the information. So you can uh, take a look at that information, or go to that site and take a look at it, or just search on the uh, title here. So the key things that we took away from this to come up with our answer or our, our answer to the uh, question posed to us, one, common sense, courtesy, and consideration of others. Thought that was um, pretty common sense. Uh, two, first fisherman fishing the area, even if they're slow moving or stationary, can remain just where he is. So does not require that person to move. And they have um, basically the, at least what we understood, is that's who you would um, converse with to see uh if you could fish around them, with them, or in that particular area. Uh, the other thing that we liked about this is just keeping it simple. Leave the water and walk around. Do not disturb the fishing or the water. It might be working. And so this also included if the person was sitting there, uh, let's say stream side, not actually fishing. Maybe they're setting up for another cast. Maybe they're doing something with their um, equipment. Uh, haven't actually started fishing again. So it would uh, uh, be best not to jump in, especially without... Uh, person's permission. Alrighty. So uh, we thought that was pretty good. And in the next one, Trout's Fly Fishing, Trout's Journal, 
Mind Your Manners Stream Etiquette 101. And, and what we liked about this is kept it simple, very simple. Uh, one, uh, approach the area and you see that you're not, you're not alone and you want to fish a particular area. Well, walk up to the person and ask them uh, if they're working upstream or downstream. If they say they're working upstream, then ask if you don't mind going downstream and vice versa. If they're fishing downstream, go the opposite way. Very simple. Also, another thing to take away from this, and we'd suggest that you go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, site in particular, is there's some additional stream etiquette advice, tips, suggestion that they have on here. That address is right here to the site. Stream side or stream etiquette 101 right there. All right. Okay, so um, let's go take it the third one. This is the third result here. And this one, it kind of expands more just not just on distance, um, and some, some good pointers there. And this comes from the Flyman Fishing Company, Flyman Blog. Fly Fishing Etiquette, six easy things when fishing in a crowd. So this one looks more at a crowd versus distance, but it does have some good key things to take away from it. One, watch at a distance and observe. So watch the person, see what they're doing, see where they're working, and, and really just get an understanding of, of how they're fishing. And then two, put yourself in their wading boots, you know, like in their shoes. Uh, the key there is, let's say you're the one who's being approached and someone just kind of barges right in there. Kind of keep that in mind to see where you'd prefer that person come in, where you'd prefer that person stay away from when it comes to your cast or the area that you're working. Uh, and then three, ask if it's okay to fish either above or below them. So it's just a simple ask. Uh, and it goes back to common courtesy, common sense, and just uh, communicating with one another. Uh, four, slot in. So this was just a, a general rule as a starting point it was suggested. Use two rod lengths away if fishing above and three if fishing below as a starting point and then you would adjust from there when you're approaching the person to ask where you would like to fish. Uh, so that's a good one to keep in mind. Uh, it will change but uh, do keep that in mind. And then bottom line, very simple uh, when you're in that dilemma. If you can't find room, move elsewhere. Uh, and the one thing that we also notice is the don't camp out. It's not related to distance, uh, but the suggestion is is if it's really crowded in this particular case, don't stay in one place the uh, whole time. And so uh, we kept that in our back pocket as to, uh, maybe a courtesy thing when things are crowded. Do give others a chance to uh, fish an area that may be holding fish. So uh, we like that. We understand that. Common courtesy, good, good to let everyone get something uh, or the opportunity to catch a fish or two. And like in the other uh, slides, you can see here, we've got the reference right here to that site. All righty. So here's the uh, infographic again, Streamside Fishing Etiquette. We'll definitely put it on our website right here, stockertroutfishing.com. And we'll definitely get uh, a, this video posted on our YouTube channel, COAF Field Team. Uh, and with that, we hope this uh, answered the mail. Alrighty, thanks for joining. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, COAF Field Team. Uh, do like us on Facebook. See our pictures on Instagram. We'll definitely put some pictures over there throughout the uh, season, throughout the year. Uh, be it fishing, uh, other passions that we have uh, that um, others would want to um, maybe uh, follow. And additionally, we do have our stockertroutfishing.com blog, and that's where we'll put that uh, infographic so you can reference it at any time. And then if you do have any more questions, and hopefully we can answer the mail, do uh, send it our way, and we'll do another one of these videos. So do come back for more, and do like and subscribe. And if you want to get the latest, do select the bell notification uh, so you can be notified when we post something new. All right, Till next time, we'll catch you all later, and good luck and good fishing.